Okay, so this video is to uh, help you create a frequency table and a histogram all in one using Megastat, so with Excel. So here we go. I'm just going to use the data we used in class. So this data is data from emissions from like 65 vehicles. And we are going to create a frequency distribution and a histogram. All right, so here we go. So for Megastat, for any Megastat thing, I go to add-ins, Megastat, and then I'm doing a frequency distribution, and it's of quantitative data. So let me select quantitative. The input range is the data itself. So I just go over and select, since my cursor's in there, I select the data. So, oh, there we go, 65. And now if I want an interval width in particular or a lower boundary of the first interval, I can put that in there. So in our case, in the case we did in class, the interval width we wanted to use was 1. And the lower boundary, the first lowest, the first lower class limit, and the interval width is also the class width. Um, so the class width was 1. And the... Um, first lowest lower limit was zero we decided on so and I want a histogram I could also do a polygon and row give but that's all I need click OK and there it is there's my frequency distribution all set up all right there's my relative frequency distribution there's my cumulative frequency distribution and there's my relative cumulative frequency distribution so didn't really need these but they just come along with the whole chart so and here's my histogram if I want to fix some things on the histogram if I want to retitle then I, I just type it in there if I want to retitle my axes I type it in there same thing with this axis um, I don't like the way it shows this the numbering system so if I want to click the, if I want to fix that I can double click this and I can do some text options we can do the numbers I can make it so they're whole numbers since they are whole numbers in general just by um, typing in zero and it'll do it um, we can also take the data uh, take we can also take these numbers and we can make it so that they're not angled, uh, not upside down, side to side. There we go. And then I can maybe, so it's supposed to be that zero is right here, one's right here, and so, so let's left justify it. And that's basically it. All right. Enjoy.